Welcome to the Violence and Society Research Group here at Cardiff University. I'm Jonathan Shepherd and I'm a Professor of Surgery on the medical campus here in Cardiff. Violence costs a great deal around the world. For example, violence costs the National Health Service here in England and Wales about two and a half billion pounds per year, so it's very important that we know how to prevent it. Policymakers and practitioners in governments around the world need to know what the risk factors are for violence, what protects people, how vulnerability can be reduced or increased, and in particular, what works to prevent violence. So that's a real focus of the research that we do here. The group consists of researchers from a range of disciplines, from economics, the social sciences, psychiatry, surgery, public health, and so on. There are two examples of the work of the group which I'd like to tell you about. The first discovery is that we can use information derived from accident and emergency departments to enhance violence prevention over and above what's achievable using police intelligence alone. And our evaluation of this approach, which we carried out with collaborators in the Centers for Disease Control in the United States, was published in the British Medical Journal just a few months ago and showed that this could achieve significant reductions in hospital admissions, accidents in emergency department treatments, and also serious violence re recorded by the police. Now this approach has become a central commitment of the coalition government here in the UK, and there is an implementation group in the Department of Health meeting regularly to roll this out throughout England. And this also is the case here in Wales, uh, the Welsh Government have taken this up and uh, in fact led the way with regard to implementation across the country. The second discovery I'd like to highlight relates to the treatment of alcohol misuse and intoxication with alcohol is a very important cause of violence and increased vulnerability to violence. And we discovered in a series of clinical trials that if we combine motivational interviews, that's a cognitive behavioural approach with standard wound care in health service clinics where the injured are treated, then that has a significant effect on reducing alcohol consumption and alcohol related harm uh, in the long term. And this has been taken up, this approach has been taken up by the Welsh Government and is currently the subject of a knowledge transfer partnership with the Welsh Government and the Violence and Society Research Group to make sure this is implemented throughout Wales. Do explore the website, there's a great deal here with regard to discoveries, with regard to policy points for policy makers and guidance for practitioners. If you're an academic, there are lots of reports here for you and we'd be delighted to hear from you if you're interested in collaborating or if you want to find out more. 